Hello YouTube, we are out here in the shop again tonight. It's nice and warm, 34 degrees. So we're gonna be working on the wine rack again. Uh, as you can see, we've got all the mess. <laughs> That's all the uh, grid system uh, glued up. And I wanted to leave, let me put that down here. I wanted to leave some of these little sticks out so you kind of could see where I was going with it. So it went from the sticks to that little nice square of um, squares. So let's go ahead and get started with part two of the one rack build. Okay, so now that I've gotten the all the grid system all uh, cut up and they're all good now, we're going to start working on the frame of it. And for that, we're going to be using the part where the forklift goes into. I'll actually put a groove down in here and then cut these little forklift extra pieces off. So all I'll have is a frame about that wide. I'm glad those long dados are over. Those are really deep. And now that those are over, we can get on with the next part. And that would be getting this portion cleaned up. And on this, this will be my base piece. What I'm gonna be doing with this is just barely cutting anything off this bottom edge. I'm actually gonna leave this part as, I guess, kinda, kinda the decorative uh, portion of the one rack. And then for the top piece, I'm actually going to trim right, I'm going to cut all these like little extra forklift pieces right off. And eventually, I think what the plan is, is to put a little top on it so that you can set like glasses or something on top of it or whatever else you want to put. So let's go ahead and get those cut. decided to keep it simple just use a handsaw to cut these out uh, the base is going to be 20 and a quarter inches wide and it should look all centered up with the little piece on the very bottom and they just will fit in nice and snug like that and then what will happen is I'll get the other piece Put it on top and then I'll have these pieces that I cut out right here. I'll actually put them on the corner like that to cover up that little gap on the end. Cutting the side pieces that are going to connect the uh, tops and the bottoms at nine inches wide. So I'm just gonna get these cut and then we'll move on to actually putting them onto the wand rack. Now I'm just gonna be joining it by drilling two holes
Okay, well, I just got the base all glued up, as you can see right here. I've got the this connecting piece to the front and the back, and it kind of covers up the gap that was down in here. And as you can see, I got a wine bottle in there right now. And I'm trying to figure out what to do with this. I'll probably just cut another piece of wood and put it in there to close that end up. And if you can tell this is a half inch taller in the back to allow the wine bottles to actually lean forward a little bit for the um the cork always to stay wet with the fluid and now it is time to cut the top i'm using some more uh oak pallet wood that i have it's not off of the same pallet, but it's still pallet wood. If you can tell, it's all kind of beat up and stuff. And I'm going to make the top actually an inch, uh, hang over both sides by an inch. So we're going to end up making the top 22 and a half inches. And then I'll put a decorative edge around the whole top. And I need my big square. So I got the basic build almost complete. I still got to put the pegs in here to keep the front up, but I'm gonna go ahead and get it all sanded while it's right here. And this uh, Dremel Multimax is a really good tool. It'll be able to get into all these little cracks and everything. So let's go ahead and get masked up and uh, get sanded. <laughs> 